Hello, and welcome to this video detailing the integration of PayPal with Sage 200. PayPal needs no introduction. This payment provider is used by millions of people around the world to buy, sell, and send money securely. You can now integrate this functionality with Sage 200, giving your customers the freedom to buy how they want nearly anywhere in the world. To use PayPal, you need to first set up invoice payments in Sage 200. To do this, navigate to Cashbook, Utilities, then Cashbook Settings. Move to the Invoice Payments tab, then click Get Started. Enter and confirm the email address to use as a point of contact for Sage Invoice Payments, then click Sign Up. This email address does not have to be the same one that you use for your PayPal account. Select PayPal, then click Connect. Enter an email address, select your country, and then click Next. If you're creating a new account, you'll be required to complete a wizard before you can continue. Once you've finished, the invoice payment screen will show as connected. You can now close this screen. Once you've connected with your payment provider, you'll need to set up a new bank account in Sage 200 for use with invoice payments. This bank account will be used exclusively for invoice payments and must have an account type of Sage Invoice Payments. You can't use this bank account for bank feeds or e-banking services. To create the new account, navigate to Cashbook, Utilities, then Cashbook Settings. On the Invoice Payments tab, select PayPal and then click Configure Provider. Click New. Enter a code for this bank account, then add a description to help your colleagues identify it. Remember to select the account currency. Choose the nominal accounts for posting this bank's transactions to the nominal ledger. These must be posting nominal accounts. If you're using more than one bank account in Sage 200, we strongly advise you to create a separate nominal account for each bank account that you set up. The bank charges nominal account will be used to account for any bank charges incurred, and it will also be used to record any fees from PayPal. The exchange differences account is used to post any required revaluation transactions. Whilst on the subject of foreign currencies, it's important to note here that if you want to be able to send invoices in different currencies, then we strongly recommend that you set up an individual balance or wallet for each currency with your payment provider, and that you also set up a corresponding bank account for each currency in Sage 200. We also recommend that you set the primary currency for your payment service provider to be the same as your base currency in Sage 200. The last step is to make sure that you're using the correct invoice layouts for your customers. To use PayPal, you need to select one of the provided invoice payments layouts or add a Pay Now button to your own custom invoice layout. These layouts will not be used by default in Sage 200, so you will need to choose them as your default layout. If you only have a small percentage of your customer base that pays via PayPal, then it's possible to stipulate the default invoice layout on the individual customer accounts rather than the whole customer ledger. You may want to control user access to invoice payments. To do this, you'll need access to System Administrator. Open Roles, then right-click the role that you need to manage the access for. Now click Features. Depending on the access required, the user will need to have access to one or both of Process Invoice Payments and Maintain Invoice Payment Transactions. Your PayPal account must only be used for a single business or legal entity. For example, if your account has multiple wallets for different currencies, these must all be used for the same business. A Sage 200 company database cannot be linked to more than one PayPal account. You can use your PayPal account before it's verified. For more information on verification, please check the PayPal website. You can send invoices and receive payments using multiple currencies, but as I mentioned earlier, we strongly recommend that you set up each currency in PayPal. Each currency is stored as a separate balance or wallet and will avoid conversion fees. This will also ensure accurate processing of the payments in Sage 200. Invoices with settlement discounts can't be processed by invoice payments, so will not include the Pay Now button required for use with PayPal. To remove the discount, just zero out the values in the following places as required. The Delivery and Invoicing tab on the invoice. This will remove the discount from the individual invoice. The Payment tab in the Customer Record. This will ensure that all future invoices created for this customer will not include a settlement discount. The Customer Defaults tab in Sales Ledger Settings. This will ensure that all new customer accounts will be created without a settlement discount in place. Now that you've set up the integration, your customers will receive their invoices, including a Pay Now button. Clicking this option will prompt them to log into their PayPal account. 
Once there, they can make the payment using one of the options that PayPal offer. That's it for this demonstration. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it. There are links below for the help files regarding the integration and the downloading and processing of transactions linked to PayPal, and also for our roadmap, which I would recommend bookmarking to keep up to date with all of our new features and plans for Sage 200.